What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Truck Style Sean YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be pulling all these pipes off and boost leak testing the charge air cooler and my pipes. Now, I'm still trying to find out why I got that hesitation. I'm trying to rule out everything so I can see if I really have a blown motor or not. I don't think I do. I think it's something stupid. Just trial and error right now trying to figure this out you guys but trying to run all the test see if we can't figure it out all right so far i'm loosening up all the clamps i gotta take the uh, what is it the condenser off from in front of the intercooler and unbolt that then i can unbolt the four bolts holding the intercooler on and i'll pull this thing off and i'm going to test it on the ground all right, just got the AC resting up there. Got to pull two bolts on each side to unbolt this intercooler. Let's see how it goes. I did find the tab down here on this one is broken off. So, I don't know. Let's see if uh, this thing actually is holding pressure or not. We'll find out in a minute. All right, you guys. So I'm just now finishing up making my boost leak tester. What I did, got a four inch PVC with a cap. And I put a, uh, a bicycle valve in there. So that's how I'm gonna pressurize it. The other side, just left blank. And now I'm gonna put these three inch pieces with a four inch OD into these this is the same size i had to make some uh duct tape intercooler boots because nobody has these sides in uh in stock so i had to make some uh make some out of some duct tape Let me know what y'all think of this though, seriously. But yep, let me finish making these. We're gonna put it on, test it, and then we're gonna test all the other pipes also. From the looks of this, man, I think I might have to order an intercooler just from uh, the shape it's in. We'll find out, y'all. All right, so I got the one side on, the other side with the valve stem. Got my little air compressor I'm gonna plug in pump this up to 5 psi got a bottle of soapy water let's see uh where this thing might be leaking from all right y'all so come to the conclusion the core and the side tanks are good but from all the corrosion here on the outlets that's what they're leaking Because it's not actually leaking through the couplers I made. It's actually leaking on the outside between where the paint is peeling. So I'm going to have to clear all that off. And uh, probably test it again. That's not going to be today because it's about to rain. I did change the boost pressure sensor. Which is right there. Just put that one in. The one that came out was a 33 mil to get the, uh, the original one out this one was a 27 this is an aftermarket sensor so we'll see how that works all right guess i'll have to throw this intercooler back up here thanks y'all um uh, i also got to check the fuel tanks at some point and see if the pickup tubes are broken if not i'm taking it to my buddy's shop and we're gonna find out what the hell's actually wrong with this thing try and get it right well i appreciate all y'all watching my microphone was up this whole time appreciate all y'all watching and uh yeah i want to get this thing back on the road asap so yeah got a driver coming to pick up the red truck down there it's going in that one so i'm all out of trucks all the other trucks are down right now or have other drivers in them so Got to get this thing running again. Y'all take it easy. Keep the rubber side down. If you like the video, hit like. If you're not already subscribed, 
you want to, go ahead. Hit that subscribe button, y'all. Later.